Hello there. So occasionally I'll get asked how to style Firefly lines and polygons. Now, Firefly point styles are available in ArcGIS Online natively. I'll show you how to do that. Go into the options, click the symbol options, and instead of basic or shapes, um, Firefly is available here. And then you can just pick whatever color you want. I'll pick this one. Okay, so now we've got a Firefly map. Actually, I'm gonna dig into this. And the default opacity is always put down a little bit. Now we can just push it all the way to 11. Hit okay, done. Okay, we've got some Firefly points. How do I make the lines match that um, Firefly style? I've got a Firefly base map. I've got Firefly points. So what's up with those river center lines? Which, by the way, I, I got um, these two layers from ArcGIS Online Living Atlas. And one of them is coal mine locations and one of them is rivers. So how do I do this? Um, now we don't have out of the box an ability to apply a blur or a glow or a drop shadow to symbols in ArcGIS Online yet. But the team is actually working on that for the beta viewer. But in the meantime, let's try a hack. So with this river center line, I'll go into the style and for the options and specifically the symbol, I'll give it, I mean default is gives it like a slightly larger than one pixel. I'm gonna make it kind of small. So I'll go like 0 0.8 pixels and I'm gonna make it white. And I'm gonna just bump its, you know, uh, transparency up a little bit, its opacity down a little bit. So it's slightly semi-transparent. Hit OK, see him there, okay? So at the heart of every um, Firefly symbol is a white hot center. That's the case for points and it's also the case for lines and polygons. You've got a white stroke. Now we take that white stroke, and remember this is a hack, and I'll expand this, and I'm just gonna say copy. And it duplicates that layer on my map. I drag it to the bottom. I go back into the style options and I hit the symbol and now instead of a thin white center I'm going to choose um, let's do like a cyan -y kind of color that's cool and I'm going to make it pretty thick I'll uh, let's go like five pixels and I'm going to make it quite semi-transparent so like I don't know 75 percent transparent so it's only 25 percent opaque and it's thick I hit OK We've got a little bit of a sense of color. Uh, I mean, you're almost glowing a little bit now already, which is kind of cool. I hit OK, done. And we're not there yet. So it's just a matter of stacking this up a couple times and increasing the thickness every time. So I'm going to copy this, drag it to the bottom, dig into those style options once more. And then in this case, you know, I'm going to go with a slightly deeper color. Mm, why not? And then I'm gonna bump up the line thickness. I'm gonna make it a little bit more transparent. Hit OK, and the effect is that you've got this, you know, kind of tapering off of a glow effect. Hit OK, done. Let's do this again, one more time. Copy, drag this all the way to the bottom. And I'll go into the style options here. Options, symbols, and I'm gonna choose like a, a deep royal blue in this case. And I'm gonna make it, I don't know, let's say 12 pixels, I'm crazy. You can tweak this however you like, whatever looks best to you. I hit okay, okay, done. And you can see what's going on here. It's up to you however many times you wanna do this. This is good enough for demonstration purposes, but you can see that I've got a slightly glowy effect here, right? Good enough, you know, it's, it's pretty firefly. Now one last thing here is for your firefly duplicated layers, since we're hacking it, we have to hide it from the legend so it doesn't show up there. And just make sure it doesn't have a pop-up and you do that for all of the copied layers here. That's it. That's how you make a firefly styled line or polygon.